School Football Media Day at Red Rock Resort. We want to thank our beautiful host here as, long, as well as, excuse me, our sponsors, New World Graphics, Friends Don't Let Friends Wear Blank T-shirts, and Dom DeMarco's Pizzeria. And the next team with us are the Mojave High Rattlers. We have Coach Wes Pacheco, joined by Junior Albert Tuiatelli and Senior Zaire DeLong. Uh, Coach, I know you've been in Mojave for a, a few years now. What makes this team unique? What are you looking for? You know, we finally have a veteran group of uh, players coming in. You know, we, we have a sh our senior class. I'll say 90% of them have started since their sophomore year, you know, uh, that season right after COVID. So our foundation is strong, you know, and it reflects in the work we've put in in the off season. Um, the way we go about business with our culture, you know, how we move, how we react to, to things, how hard we how hard we work in practice. So uh, we anticipate that reflecting to success this year. Yeah. Um, Zaire, what have been the keys to uh, kind of putting that culture in place and uh, growing as part of the season? Uh, everybody coming together, being at practice, being in the weight room, working together. As far as the coaches, everyone showing up. Got like 12 coaches that come to practice every day. Everybody working to get better each and every day. Um, Albert, what the, what, what's it like to be a part of something like that? Does that, does that give you a little motivation? Uh, yeah, yeah um, it's, a, it's an honor to be on this team. Uh, these coaches come in every day. All the players come back to the club. Honor to play um, Coach, both these guys next to you, uh, linebackers, is, is that one of the uh, strengths of your team? Where else uh, maybe you think you're a little bit ahead of the curve? So these two guys represent the leadership of our program. So Zaire is our, I'm gonna, is our middle linebacker. You know, he, he leads by example, you know, from the front. And then we expect big things from AJ here uh, at the quarterback position. Um, he also may play some linebacker. Uh, you know, uh, uh, these two guys kind of set the tone for us. Uh, we always love our linemen. You know, you can't play football without line, and, and we made a priority in this program. We, we have about 40 to 50 linemen in our program that spans our JV and VARS. So we always prioritize our linemen, and obviously we want to win in the trenches to, to win those important games. Um, Albert, as a quarterback, what, what have you seen out of the line? What's that better protecting you well? Uh, and they just lessen their butts on the line, protect the knee, uh, block for the running back. Uh, uh, have, a, have a receiver shine, and I just give off the line. Um, seeing the receiver shine, so I guess uh, part of that sounds like you're expecting to throw the ball some this year. What the, is it going to be kind of a balanced offense, pass heavy, or a ball? going to be balanced. You're going to see a couple of more plays, pass, usually all around. Uh, a little bit of everything on offense. What about defense, uh, Zaire? Uh, that's a good, yeah. Good linebackers, good players. Everybody playmakers on the field. Everybody can fly to the ball. Yeah. Uh, Coach, when I ask everyone about the realignment this year, that you guys are in the 4A, what the, how do you kind of see the landscape of uh, where you guys fall? How do you look at this one? You know, culturally, our language to to players and coaches in our program is we're less worried about where we're at and we're worried about the process. So we're less worried about the outcome and the process of becoming a good football team. So whether we're in 3A, 4A, 5A, it doesn't change how we work. It doesn't change how we approach things. Uh, we expect to be good in any division we're in. So for us, we're just blessed to be in 4A. Tell us who we got to play, and let's line up and go. So that's kind of our that's kind of our straightforward mentality this year is let's get to work and let's be successful in the things we want to be good at. Um, if you're, your process focused, what are some of the keys to that? Uh, everybody's showing up, working hard, being at practice each and every day, showing that you care. It's not coming to just go through the motions, actually coming to get better each and every day. Um, I guess we'll go to AJ for the final word. What, what are some of the ultimate goals and uh, how do you make sure uh, you guys get there? We're trying to make it to Legion Stadium. Uh, we're going to work hard, uh, do our part. We're going to play hard. All right, that's the Mojave Rattlers. Always great to hear from them here at the Las Vegas Sun High School Football Media Day.